What is up everyone? In this video, we are gonna talk about Ningguang's weapon. Okay, so last Ningguang showcase, I know that a lot of you guys were like, yo, that's not how you play Ningguang. You suck at playing Ningguang. Hey, I know. I'm really sorry. I was not able to show you the full potential of Ningguang, but I think I did probably, right? Because I was able to kill Devalin in one DPS window with level 61 Ningguang, right? Against like level 80 Devalin. That kind of proves that she is pretty good. So before we get started, the giveaway for the last video, which is the Kaching video, right? Because I'm giving out dollars for the winner i would like to give more people a chance to win the giveaway also i'm doing the giveaway for this video as well so in order for you to enter the giveaway just make sure you're subscribed to my channel like this video and comment and say whatever you want okay this time if you say enter giveaway <laughs> i will exclude you from the winner okay don't do that please that's not cool anyways Let's talk about Ningguang. I struggled so hard to get her artifacts, and I think I can't do it. All right, so this is my Ningguang. She only has one two-piece set, Archaic Petra set. Gains 15% deal damage bonus. Everything else is just kind of scattered, right? In order for us to test out two weapons, one for Lost Prayer, and the other one for Memory of Dust. A lot of people told me that Memory Dust is not the weapon for Ningguang. But let me tell you, it is the weapon for Ningguang. In my opinion, alright? <laughs> In my opinion. Reason being, I told you about how I like to play Genshin, right? I don't want to have one character out in the field and just carry the whole team. That's boring. This is a team game where you can create a team with four members of heroes, right? And you just want Ningguang in the field for maybe more than 16 seconds in order for this to work, right? If you have the right gears, I would say Memory of Dust is going to be the best one. And we're going to kind of change the artifacts as we switch out the weapons because Lost Prayer gives you crit rate and Memory of Dust gives you attack percentage, yeah? She right now has this flower and I will probably have to take this out. So for more consistency, it would be more fair for me to switch out to a different flower. Maybe something like this. It has crit rate, crit damage, attack. That's good. All right, let me take it out. Because if I switch out the circlet, then I will probably lose geo bonus because I don't have a crit chance archaic Petra circlet. So these are the artifacts that I'm using with lost prayers. All right, let's take a look at it. So what we are going to do is, again, we're gonna have a test subject. His name starts with a D. It's not Diluc, it's Devalin. All right, we're once again here at the Storm Terror, and I believe I got bitter. And since I'm not gonna be trying to do anything funny, all I'm gonna be doing is use Bennett Q and Ningguang. I'll try to burst down Devalin. Sir Crows will be using Dragon Slayer, yes. And Bennett has probably four piece Noblesse it. All right, I'll check. And since I have two fire in the team, I am getting this fire resonance. Increase attack by 25%. So Ningguang has this attack boost right now. So 1700 attack. All we gotta care about is gonna be crit rate 64%, 172% critical damage. And for more consistency, I would like to take some food. Actually, I'm not gonna use sucrose because I don't know, I don't know, you know what? Screw Bennett, let's not use anything. Because if I switch out to Bennett, use Q, I'm gonna be losing this uh, stack for Lost Prayer. So because we want to take a look at the full potential of each weapons, we're gonna be comparing them by using their whole potential. All right. I was not supposed to enter the level 90 Devalin. My bad. Let's go ahead and use her in level 80 Devalin. Her level is 80. Her weapons are level 80 too. So first test is going to be Lost Prayer. In order for me to get the maximum potential out of this weapon is by staying in the field for 16 seconds because it goes up to four stacks. Every four seconds, I get 14% elemental damage bonus, right? So let's take Adeptus Temptation. And then we can use this Geo Damage Potion as well. Okay. All right. She easily did this without any help of other heroes. I'm a little shocked. 
But I did screw up so much that I feel like all those Ningguang mains are going to be like, yo, you suck at playing this game. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, for that test, I had 76% crit rate overall, 172% critical damage. And because she was taking the field for more than 16 seconds, she probably had that 56% elemental damage bonus for her Geo, right? So there is that. Let me quickly change the artifact so that it fits the attack percentage. Now we lost a lot of critical chance, right? So we gotta make it up for it. So I'm gonna be using this one instead. Ningguang has 77% crit rate, 139% crit damage. So lower than before, but I will have a lot more attack percentage. Now she has 2400 attack. If she has shield on her, things are gonna be a little different. This time we can make use of Geo Elemental Resonance because she doesn't need to take the field like when she was using Lost Prayer, right? This time I'm gonna be using Noel instead of Sucrose. And here we go. We can take a look at the damage difference. I will probably mess up again, but that would be a good reference, right? Alright. Alright. So, she was also able to do this. One bad thing about using Lost Prayer is that she needs to be on the field all the time. Good thing about Lost Prayer is that if she stays in the field all the time, she gets stronger so that she can carry you. However, Memory of Dust was able to do the same while using different hero's ability. I had to use Noel to use E for the shield, right? To maximize the effect for Ningguang's weapon. And also, if I didn't make things fair, I would have probably used Bennett Q to make her stronger. But there we go. It seems like it was too easy for Ningguang, so why don't I go to level 90 dungeon with level 80 Ningguang with level 80 weapons? Here we go. She's not even using any set, and she's this strong. I believe she can do this. I believe in her, and she's too strong right now. Uh, oh my god. Alright, food again. Alright, so we're starting from 2400 attack. Okay. There is the ult, and Ningguang has 3100 attack. Alright, she was able to kill Devalin in 1 DPS window for level 90 Devalin, and that was very satisfying to see. Okay, the reason why I think Memory of Dust is better is because I can finally swap out to different heroes. Instead of having a mage character that has Lost Prayer to stay in the field for a long time. I mean, yes, Ningguang is gonna be very strong, but as soon as you swap out to a healer and do some healing, I don't know, and come back to your mage DPS, for example Ningguang, then she's gonna be weak. She has to stay in the field for, I don't know, for the maximum potential of the weapon. You have to stay in the field for 16 seconds, so that's why I think it's underwhelming. However, because it is hard to stack critical chance with your characters, I would say Lost Prayer is a very good weapon for you to use early game. When you can farm some good critical chance main circlet, then Memory of Dust is gonna be better. I know that I screwed up a lot in the last level 90 development battle. But hey, even though I screwed up, I did pretty great, yeah? So I compared the damage between R5 Memory of Dust and R4 Lost Prayers. And of course, because Lost Prayer was R4, it did less damage than Memory of Dust. However, if I had Lost Prayer at rank 5, then Lost Prayer would have done more damage. And even if that was the case, there was not much of a difference in damage. But being able to swap out to a different character, and still be able to use the maximum potential of the weapon, I think it's a very big thing. So, it's up to you. It gives you tons of attack if you use Memory of Dust. And Lost Prayer gives you a lot of crit rate. And also, if you stay in the field for a long time, you get the extra elemental damage bonus. What do you guys think about the output? What do you guys think about the result? Do you guys like Memory of Dust or Lost Prayer? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching this long video. I really hope this was helpful to you. Don't forget to leave a like and comment and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys later. Adios.